welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a little what's in my i guess travel bag and i'm very excited i got sent this backpack by a brand called Nordis, and it is a dream backpack some of the features of this bag include an advanced storage design which is 100 percent true <laughs> it's vegan leather additional luggage strap hidden pockets which I'm still finding. Integrated USB charging port, which I have found and that's pretty snazzy. Water resistant. Once again, we love that because you never know what the weather's gonna be like when you're traveling or in the plane. What the weather's gonna be like in the plane, yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be bucketing. A key holder and a laptop compartment, which is also very handy. So if you would like to purchase this bag, I'll have a link down in my description and I'll also have some videos and photos and stuff on my Instagram and a link there as well. So you should get your hands on one definitely if you are traveling with a lot or if you're at uni, it's a perfect bag for like a uni student, trust me. So without further ado, I think we should start looking at what I've popped into this bag and just see how much it actually this here is the bag this is their new camino bag or camino i'm not sure how you say it but it is literally beautiful so i got it in like this gray color and i'm gonna just start showing you what i've got in my bag i guess so i'm gonna sort of start with the little outside pocket areas the first thing i've got which is on the side of the bag which i don't think this is what's supposed to be useful but it's very handy i've got my sonny's on the outside here there's like a little i don't know what to call it i guess you could put a pen in there but I've gone with the Sunnies option because if you guys don't know, I have gone to Noosa and it is sunny here and you need them. So my Sunnies are Michael Kors Sunnies. Then moving on to these two pockets here. Why did I say it like that? So this pocket here is full of <sighs> chubba chubs. <laughs> Basically, because we flew to Noosa for our holiday. When we land, I always have to be sucking on a lollipop. So mum stocked me up with lollipops for Christmas and I've just stored a bunch of them in this pocket, which is really handy because it's easy to access and I can quickly grab them when the plane, when the pilot says that we're descending. This pocket currently has nothing in it because I usually store my camera in it, but I'm currently filming on my camera, so I can't show you that. But I do have the Canon PowerShot something, SX, I can't remember all the numbers. And then it's also got this key ring thing so you can attach your keys to it and they won't disappear so which is once again perfect for traveling because you don't want to lose your keys if you're going away moving on to the top part here which i think is also really perfect it's like a little pocket at the top and at the moment i am storing a face mask in there since we have to wear them on traveling some states have different laws in new so you don't have to wear a mask out in public but on the planes you do so i've got that and also because when we get back to melbourne we will have to put it back on so then moving to the back of the bag it's gonna get through all the outside details first it's got like this like secret compartment here it's got a pocket here which i think i yeah i've just got a hair tie in there it's a big po pocket but i just don't know what else to put in there and then if you run out of space in your bag there is a portable water bottle holder and then it can click on to the front, which we love. Very useful. Oh, that's what that's for. I figured it out. This little pocket thingy here is so that you can clip this thing onto that and saw your water bottle on the side of your bag. So that's really handy if you're running out of space, which I tend to do because I am an overpacker like my mom. Now moving on to the big pocket. Firstly, I love the drawstring thing because it just it keeps it nice and closed and no one can take anything out of your bag when you're traveling. I'm gonna go through and take out the first thing because it sort of covers everything else and I'm gonna show you what it looks like sort of inside because there are pockets absolutely everywhere in here and it is amazing. So the first thing I've got in here is my pencil case. If you guys don't know, I am studying online with the Trobe online and therefore my studies went over Christmas which I talked about in a few videos and so I had to bring a lot of my uni stuff with me and this bag is absolutely perfect. I literally received this bag a day before we left. I don't know what I would have done if I never received it, I'm just saying. But yeah, so I got this pencil case, just got my pens and stuff in it. A lot of pens and stuff in it because I may or may not be a stationary hoarder but yeah, I absolutely love that. And then this is sort of what the inside looks like. But yeah, so I've got my Ventolin because I'm asthmatic and something I have to take everywhere. I then have a hand cream. This is the Body Shop Hemp Hand Working Hand Protector Cream. And that's because I got eczema and my eczema is absolutely shocking. So gotta have some hand cream in there. I then have my Pawpaw ointment because I can't live without it. Then I have my purse. I mean, if you're traveling, you're gonna need some money. This is my favorite purse. I've used this every single day since I was 18 because I got it for my 18th birthday from Caitlin. 
and I'm obsessed. It's like the perfect size. I don't know. I just don't like to use a bigger purse because this fits in absolutely everything. So got this. Obviously need money. I then have my water bottle. Especially when you're traveling, you need to stay hydrated in the air because you don't want to land and then faint or falling off falling off the plane. Oh my god. You don't want to faint whilst walking off of the plane. Then I have some notebooks. So these first two notebooks are my uni notebooks. So I use them to take my notes for uni. I only have two because I take two subjects at a time. So obviously I had to take those with me so that I could study. Then I have some printouts of assignments that I have due sort of around the time when I get back. So I needed to print those off and take them with me so I could go through them. I then have another two notebooks. I am, as I said before, I'm a stationary hoarder. They're both similar color because I may or may not have an obsession with like green. This is my songwriting book. I take it absolutely everywhere because I love songwriting. If I don't have this, I'll at least have my phone so I can take notes. But I prefer to write everything down. So I have this. And then because of my anxiety and stuff, I started writing in journals. But I have been writing in it and helps just let out emotions, which you need to do sometimes. I then have my Lactase tablets. For anyone that doesn't know, I'm lactose intolerant. Well, I'm dairy intolerant. But these help if I decide to consume lactose. So I take them with me. The next thing I've got is this book that I'm currently reading. It's called Again and Again by E. Lockhart, who wrote We Were Liars, which I actually haven't read yet. But we're going through this one first. It's sort of like a book based in like sort of three alternate universes, I guess. It just shows you what happens in different circumstances and if the characters say different things, which gets a bit confusing, but is also really good. So I'm excited to get more into this. I then have my laptop charger because obviously doing uni work, you need your laptop. So you're gonna have to charge it somehow. So then in the laptop compartment, which I absolutely love because a laptop compartment is actually padded. So you don't have to put it, your laptop in a case. You can just pop it into your bag. And I have my MacBook Pro. What can I say? I absolutely love it. It's just, it got everything. It got everything. It's got everything on it. I can use it for uni work. I can use it for my editing. Like. Yeah, I just couldn't imagine myself traveling without it. So yeah, I got my laptop with me, obviously needed it, and this bag perfectly carried it, so. And then in the little compartment sort of in front of, okay, I can't really show you, it's really hard, but like there's a little compartment in front of the laptop compartment. And in that compartment, I have this, which, because the new laptops the Apple don't have like those SD card insert things. This is what it is. You can put your SD card in there so I can edit videos, which I'm going to be doing with this one. I then have some earphones for my laptop, which have this connector. So it's obviously the laptop earphones. Obviously needed if my sister or my mum's partner or my mum are busy doing something or watching TV or something, I can still do my studies. And then the next two things are sort of camera accessories. I have a spare battery because I got a new camera for Christmas and my dad got me a spare battery to go with it, which is absolutely perfect and coming in a lot of handiness with this holiday. I also got an SD card with it so I had to bring a spare SD card with me because we're taking a lot of footage up here and you should check out those vlogs when they come out. Then there's a lot of like separate pockets like for cards and stuff and money and stuff and pens but I didn't really use those because I've got my purse so the only really thing I stored in there is my phone. I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I did a what's on my phone sort of midway through the year and I'll be doing another one at the start next year so Definitely get ready for that, but this is my phone at the moment. And obviously I have to take it everywhere, hold all the memories, text people, YouTube. And I think this is the last compartment that I've actually got something in, which isn't even that exciting. I have an empty packet of Panamax. It's usually full, but I had the last two last night, so I need to go grab another full packet. And then the last thing I've got is earphones, because on the plane ride, obviously, I edited a video actually on the plane ride up. I edited my Christmas, what I got for Christmas because um, I film it on my phone so I can edit it on my phone and then also just to watch movies and TV shows on my phone and stuff so I got the this is the iPhone adapter one so it's got the iPhone thing and yeah that's everything in the bag there's a USB cord here that's attached to the bag and that's the charging thing port and yeah that's everything that I have in my bag for my vacation everything I put in this bag is everything that helps me have an amazing trip away and vacation away and sets me up for a perfect holiday. I mean, obviously it'd be better if I didn't have to do uni work, but unfortunately that's just the way things are. And I'm very excited to actually be getting a course done. As you guys may know, I struggle to get through courses, but I'm going to get this one done. We're going to get through it. And I'm very excited to be getting that done.
I'd just like to say this bag is absolutely perfect. It also has a really cool thing on the side here, which I forgot to mention earlier. And basically you can unplug it. It just plugs up at the top with a little um, thing there. And then you can open it from the side to get things oh, out <laughs> or put things back, which can be really handy, especially if you're on a flight already. So overall, this bag is absolutely perfect for traveling and holding all your memories that you'll be taking with you when you go on holiday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. If you need a new bag, definitely go check out Nordis. They have amazing bags and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.